A group of pirates from the anti-love faction have arrived in drop pods nearby. They are attacking immediately. Hello guys and welcome to Bipking Gaming. I am the Bip King, and today we're going to be playing some more RimWorld. Welcome to episode 9. And uh, yeah, in the last episode we, uh, we kind of just tidied up everything a bit. Uh, and we got Henry. Henry is now our, our good friend, which is good to see. Uh, so we've got uh, we've got five colonists now, and uh, we've got a room for each one of them. Uh, we've got a good bit of food coming in as well. Um, I want to tidy up uh, our prison here a bit, and I want to get this switch finished so that we can start activating our weapons again. Um, but apart from that, yes, last episode was um, was kind of just I would call it an administration um, episode where we really just kind of. Uh, tried to tidy everything up a bit we've got Luke uh, Jackson back on his research for us which is good it looks like Henry is off to get our components so we can finish this bit off and yeah things are starting to come together for our little for our little our little colony things are going really well so one thing I want to do first in this episode is fix um, Actually, I want to keep... Do I want to keep that open? He's not going to be... A prisoner won't be able to access that, so that's fine. Um, I want a table and chairs. Actually, I think we should focus on getting that for our own colonists first. And I think we are going to make a dining area here. Because I think they deserve it now. Um, they have... Uh, they, they've been through it, my guys. Uh, especially the ones that have been here from the start. They've definitely, uh, they've seen some shit. So uh, that's going to be our, our kind of focus for this episode. We're going to just, uh, or at least the uh, the start of this episode. We are going to tidy all of this up um, and get a nice little dining area for the guys down here. And yeah, looks like Henry's doing his cleaning as well. How is our work looking for miners? So we've got no miners. We'll put two on that. Uh, and we'll actually put Henry on that as well because he is very ambitious about mining. So that's good for us. Uh, it looks like we're going to want some more lighting in here as well. So it might actually be worth uh, in regards to the structures. What I'm going to do as well is take this bit of wall out. Uh, and under structure, we are going to grab some slate blocks. And we are going to chuck them down there. And this will all make sense. Uh, it's because as if I come in here now and I look at this. Uh, oh, actually, what? Oh, it's, it's zero degrees outside, so that actually kind of works out pretty well for us right now. Um, but it does mean indoors zero. It does mean we're going to have to start heating up this area. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into temperature. We're going to go into heater like this, like that. Then we're going to put a vent there, a vent there, and a vent there. Then what we're going to do is once they dig this out here, uh, then we're going to carry on our structure of wall all the way down. Oh, we've even got some components down here as well. That's very, very nice. Um, but yeah, we are going to dig out. There you are, mine. Uh, all the way down to here. And then we are going to put a slate wall down here. Uh, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this little space here just yet. Not just yet. Actually, I'm going to cancel that one there. And I am going to put the heater. That's a very, that's a very, oh. Oh no. Run. Run. Get away. Run from that right. Oh dear. Is that, is that a mad animal or something? That's. Uh, who are we? Lucas, you can haul. Rescue him. Uh, he, where is he running off to? Oh, no, 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 no. Run, run. Ah, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, get in. Run. Right. Whew. Oh dear. That was, um, that was intense. But uh, yeah, we got some rhino 
hide and stuff out of that. So that, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, we are going to want to auto arm all of them. Uh, Lucas, you are... Oh. Uh, there we are. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, little tip for you guys uh, you can't actually set them to haul uh, if they are drafting uh, they can only really fight so that was the reason why uh, Lucas decided nope I am not I'm just gonna stand on top of this dead rhinoceros because yeah because why not um, so since we've got some meat in there as well let's prioritize butchering and then let's go in here Let's go into bills and let's add fine meal. Um, duh, 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 duh. What? Requires a skill. None of your. Uh, okay, well, never mind. So we'll just stick to uh, to basic meals for now until Lucas is. Uh, what's he looking like now? He's on five, so he should be up to six soon, and we can start making some fine meals. Which should work out for us. Our food situation is actually looking very positive right now. Uh, we're going to speed this up again. Uh, our research is coming together. And uh, yeah, what we're going to do is uh, we've got machining. So we're going to try and get ourselves... Uh, well, we only really need one weapon at this point. Um, we might try and look at making some kind of brawler weapons for some of the other guys. Uh, if they're going to be like a last, last ditch defense... Uh, near the end um, there we go uh, Henry is fully healed happy with that uh, hopefully we can finish all of this off here bah, 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 bah. how are we looking for resources steel do we have much steel we have like zero steel by the looks of it um, are they just like not picking oh no there's loads over here how much there's lots and lots and lots over there so yeah that's cool so what i want to do is look for floors and then i just want metal tile in like that uh, and i actually want metal tiles in here as well uh so yeah we should have more than enough um what's it called steel to be able to finish that off there is some more steel there that we can always get if we need to but i don't think we're going to need it just yet. We are going to fill this bit in here as well. All the way across like that. And uh, yeah, we're just going to let them build that. Um, also, what we're going to do is we're going to chuck a... There we are. We're going to chuck a cooler in there like so. Tell you what, we'll chuck two in there. We'll chuck two in there. And yeah, we're just going to kind of let them build a bit. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you are. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, it seems to be getting some good feedback. Uh, a lot of more people are joining, um, uh, joining in watching uh, the season, I should say. And uh, I really enjoy this game. I think it's it's just so well made. I think for something that's kind of just basic graphics, uh, a very basic layout, but just so much gameplay. Um, and yeah, I, it's it's probably one of the uh, one of my favorite games at the moment. I just really really enjoy this whole concept, uh, and I enjoy how much they kind of go into depth with things like taming animals, um, getting animals to fight for you. Um, there's so much stuff. All of the stuff that you can do with the different materials and the needs of the characters and stuff like that. I just I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, it's definitely a really, really interesting game. I mean, they mad, mad props to the guys who uh, who came up with this concept, this type of game. I hear that a lot of people are saying that it's uh, a lot like Factorio or something like that, a game similar to that. Uh, and that's actually a game that I have considered doing a Let's Play of because uh, it looks like a really interesting concept again, uh, very similar to this, but um, very focused on automation and kind of uh, creating kind of like factory lines. So, um, so that's something that we might look at in the future. There is actually a, a new Let's Play series that I'm considering starting today, um, which is Banished. So even if I don't start it today, it is something that will be coming up in the near future for you guys. Um, not sure if it's something that you guys have, uh, 
have had an encounter with yet, but yeah, Banished is a season that is going to be coming up soon. And uh, and later on down the line, depending on how uh, how long some of these seasons go on for, uh, we might looking look at doing some Craft the World as well. Um, so yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below if uh, Craft the World and Banished are some games that you'd like to see. Uh, Banished is definitely going to be coming because it really epitomizes kind of survival games in that sense. Um, but yeah, so that's something that you can look forward to. And uh, like I said, later on down the line, we are going to do Craft the World. But for now, we are going to disengage the uh, weapon systems. Uh, we're just going to get someone to toggle it. Um, everyone should be on flick, so I'm surprised no one has run over to do that yet. Uh, you power switch. Oh, but Jello. Oh, she was like coming back from like God knows how far away. So as you can see now, these have all gone to low power or off, uh, and they won't work unless I actually get someone to flick them um, whenever we get attacked. So that's something to consider, it's something that needs to be remembered. Uh, and what we can see now is we can go in here and we can see, so it's currently on 21, which is what it needs to be for the guy. So as you can see over on the right hand side here, as I hover over the buildings, you can see outdoors now, it says five degrees. If I go over here, it's now saying 20 to 21. Uh, and again, 17 in there. So uh, yeah, because it's really cold outside, this is seeping up some power. And we've got a raid. So let's prepare ourselves for this. Let's have a look at what's gonna happen. A group of pirates from the anti-love faction have arrived in drop pods nearby. They are attacking immediately. Uh, so let's see where they are. Uh, they are gonna be coming from the north, which works out very well for our kind of house. Let's see what we've got. One, two, three, and four. Meaning that Jello is out in the world somewhere. So we are going to grab her. And we are going to tell her to get back in here. Um, and we're just going to leave. Actually, we're going to bring Jackson straight out uh, to here. Uh, we're going to flick this switch. We are going to make Jackson focus. Uh, what? Oh, he's already doing it. That's perfect. Uh, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna set this guy up here. We are actually gonna grab uh, Remo as well. How is Remo's shooting just on one and it's not really gonna progress much? Uh, Lucas, we uh, you're used to the pretty much everything. You're a brawler, so you're gonna want that. So um, actually what I think we're gonna do is because the pistol actually um, actually he's got a shotgun this is going to be really hard. I think we're going to tell him to drop the pistol, grab the grenades, uh, and then come over here. Oh, and they are already here. And oh, they are getting hammered. So looks like we had one guy is dead already and he dropped a shotgun for us. This guy has got survival rifle. Uh, some Molotov cocktails and a pistol. So we are gonna. Oh, that's it. They are done. They did not want to play. <laughs> oh, happy with that. Um, okay. Well, what we actually gonna want to do now is I want to. Um, uh, actually, no, that doesn't really matter because what I want to do is uh, get the machining done and then try and get an assault rifle or something, uh, an LMG or something like that for Jackson. Because he's the only guy that we have that can uh, actually shoot or be useful at shooting. Um, so that's going to work out well for us. Because we really need someone who can start dishing out some dishing out some beats. So we're going to bury Mark. Um, he's doing that. Uh, Jello, you can... Might as well strip. Why not? Um, and there is one more place. So I'm guessing that Jello can't haul. Is that correct? No, Jackson can't haul. Oh, that's why. She's again. You can't tell them to do hauling or burying or anything like that when they are um, when they are drafted uh, and you've taken control over them. So one thing I can see that we're going to need is some more gravestones, which are here. So we're going to pop a couple of these across here like so and that should do for now 
And when I say that we'll do for now, guys, that is going to be it for the episode. So, yeah, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. Again, let me know if you would like to see uh, if uh, Banished and Craft the World are games that you're interested in seeing. Um, like I said, Banished is definitely coming because it just looks amazing and it's something that I want to get my hands on. Uh, but apart from that, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in episode 10. Ha! Can't wait to get there. Peace!